Introduction. Ankita, we have discussed cell theory, structure, and functional regions of cell already. Yes, and now we'll discuss that there are two types of cells: plant cells and animal cells. Okay, we'll also observe structure of plant and animal cells, and also discuss difference between plant and animal cells, that is, prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells. Objectives. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to identify types of cells. No. the characters of plant cells and animal cells understand difference between plant and animal cells know the characters of prokaryotic cell understand cell envelope of prokaryotic cell know the characters of ribosome and inclusion bodies of prokaryotic cell understand difference between prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells types of cell we have two types of cells plant cell and animal cell on the basis of presence of nuclear membrane there are two types of cells prokaryotic and eukaryotic characteristics of plant cells all the living matter of a plant cell is known as protoplasm the cell is surrounded by a cell membrane or plasma membrane plant cells also have a cell wall surrounding plasma membrane cell wall is made up of cellulose and is rigid so it supports the plant cell the nucleus is the control center of the cell and is surrounded by cytoplasm the vacuole is a storage area for the plant cell which contains cell sap made up of sugars salts and pigments plant cells also have chloroplasts which contain chlorophyll it is the place where photosynthesis occurs within the cell characteristics of animal cells all the living matter of an animal cell is known as protoplasm the cell is surrounded by a cell membrane or plasma membrane the nucleus is the control center of the cell and is surrounded by cytoplasm cytoplasm is composed of 90% water there are many organelles within the cytoplasm in cytoplasm most of the cells activities take place difference between plant and animal cells in plant cell the cell wall is present outside the plasma membrane while in animal cell the cell wall is absent shape of cell is sperm in plant cells while in animal cells due to absence of cell wall cell shape is not fixed in plant cell protoplasm is peripheral while in animal cell it fills whole cell in plant cells nucleus lies in peripheral protoplasm and is oval in shape while in animal cell nucleus is central in position and is round in shape in plant cells large vacuoles lie in the center with cell sap while in animal cells vacuoles if present are few and small chloroplasts are usually present in the plant cells while in animal cells chloroplasts are usually absent characters of prokaryotic cells The prokaryotic cells are primitive. Bacteria and blue-green algae, that is, cyanobacteria, have such types of cells. 
fully developed cell organelles are not present in such cells. In the prokaryotic cells, nucleus is without a nuclear membrane, due to which substances usually present in the nucleus are diffused in the central part of the cell in direct contact with the cytoplasm. Characters of cell envelope and its modification Prokaryotic cells have a chemically complex cell envelope which is made up of three layered structure. The outer layer of glycocalyx, middle layer is cell wall and innermost layer is plasma membrane. Glycocalyx is either in the form of loose sheath called slime layer or it is thick and tough layer which is called capsule. The cell wall gives a strong structural support to the cell which prevents the cell to burst or collapse. It also provides shape to the cell. The plasma membrane is semi-permeable as it is in eukaryotes. According to the Gram staining method invented by Hans Christian Gram, the bacteria can be divided into two types. In Gram-positive bacteria, peptidoglycans of cell envelope takes up the crystal violet stain. In Gram-negative bacteria, peptidoglycans of cell envelope do not take up the crystal violet stain. Mesosomes of prokaryotic cells In prokaryotic cells, a special membranous structure mesosome is found. It is formed by extensions of plasma membrane into the cell. The mesosomes help in respiration and secretion processes. The mesosomes also help to increase the surface of plasma membrane. As a result, increase the enzymatic content of cell. The mesosomes also help in formation of cell wall, DNA replication and distribution to daughter cells. Characters of ribosome of prokaryotic cells In prokaryotes, ribosomes are about 15 nanometer by 20 nanometer in size and are associated with the plasma membrane of the cell. Ribosomes are made up of two subunits, 50S and 30S units. They combine to form 70S prokaryotic ribosomes. Ribosomes are the site of protein synthesis. Many ribosomes attach to single mRNA and form a chain known as polyribosome or polysome. The ribosomes of a polysome translate mRNA into proteins. Movement of prokaryotic cells Prokaryotes are motile or non-motile. When motile, they have flagella outside their cell wall. These flagella are thin and filamentous. Flagella are made up of three parts. Filament, hook and basal body. Filament is the longest portion of flagella which extends from the cell surface to the outside. Flagella may be one or many. Pili and fimbrae are also present on the surface of prokaryotic cells. Pili are made up of special protein and are elongated tubular structures. The fimbrae are small bristle-like fibers coming out of the cell. Characters of inclusion bodies of prokaryotic cells Reserve material in prokaryotic cells are stored in the cytoplasm in the form of inclusion bodies which lie free in the cytoplasm. Example, phosphate granules, cyanophyke granules and glycogen granules. Difference between prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells Prokaryotic cells are smaller, less than 5 micrometer, while 
eukaryotic cells are larger, greater than 10 micrometer. Prokaryotic cells are always unicellular, while eukaryotic cells are mostly multicellular. Prokaryotic cells do not have membrane-bound nucleus and organelles, while eukaryotic cells are have membrane-bound nucleus and organelles. In prokaryotic cells, DNA is circular and without proteins, while in eukaryotic cells, DNA is linear and is associated with proteins to form chromatin. In prokaryotic cells, ribosomes are small 70s, while in eukaryotic cells, ribosomes are larger 80s. Prokaryotic cells do not have cytoskeleton, while Eukaryotic cells always have a cytoskeleton. Prokaryotic cells move by rigid rotating flagellum, while eukaryotic cells move by waving cilia or flagella. Prokaryotic cells divide by binary fission, while eukaryotic cells divide by mitosis or meiosis. Did you know? Nucleoid is also known as genophore. When plasmid associates with nucleoid of bacterium, then it is called episome. In mycoplasma, cell wall is absent. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. There are two types of cells, plant cells, and animal cells. Plant cells have a cell wall outside the cell membrane. Based on the presence or absence of a membrane-bound nucleus and other organelles, cells and hence organisms can be named as eukaryotic or prokaryotic. A typical eukaryotic cell consists of a cell membrane, nucleus and cytoplasm. Bacteria are ubiquitous in every habitat on earth. Prokaryotic cells usually range between 1 to 10 micrometer. The eukaryotic cells are typically larger, mostly ranging between 10 to 100 micrometer. The prokaryotic cells are primitive. Fully developed cell organelles are not present in such cells. In the prokaryotic cells, nucleus is without a nuclear membrane, due to which substances usually present in the nucleus are diffused in the central part of the cell in direct contact with the cytoplasm. Bacteria and blue-green algae, that is cyanobacteria, have such types of cells.